RC Lander F-16 Falcon uh, came in the other day uh, it's just a kit I took everything out of the box and uh, I'll do a little review and uh, when I'm uh, ready I'm gonna put all the electronics in do a build video and pictures and post them up but basically what comes in the kit is the top main fuselage okay you got the bottom piece with the retracts system. You got the gear door system that comes here. A canopy. Bottom for the EDF unit. <clears throat> the fins. Fins. Side winders. Some other fuel tank bombs, the vertical uh, stabilizer, the horizontal stabilizer. It's packaged really well. It's made out of EPO. It's really durable. Uh, and these are the wings. It already comes installed with a carbon fiber rod. Uh, basically, all you got to do is just slip them inside, glue it up, and the two carbon fiber rods meet together. Uh, comes with a nice set of decals and an instruction manual. Okay, The plane wingspan is 31 inches and the length is uh, 43 and the length is 43 inches uh, long. Uh, I'm going to be running a 70 millimeter fan Exceed RC uh, 2200 kV motor, okay, with a 70 amp Trinity from Hobby, excuse me, ESC unit, okay. And I'm going to run 16 grams Trinity servos. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put it together and put some more videos as we, as I go along with the build. And uh, you let me know what you think. And thanks for watching. Uh, please comment below and subscribe. Let me know what you think. So I'm gonna put it all together. And as I put it together, I'm gonna do some pictures, like I said and uh, some more videos so stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching okay I installed the landing gear on my F-16 I used a 17 gram servo okay to pull the three landing gear alright so it's slight bigger than the mini one okay and I used a regular 9, nine gram servo for the steering Okay, so this is all done. All I got left is to put the cover on it. I might have to notch a little bit here to compensate for the big servo. Alright, I also installed the EDF unit. Okay, and the bottom what I had to do was I had to notch slots in here. So I had to cut it, cut slots in here in order for my EDF unit to fit. So there you go, fits perfect, perfect fit, hold on, see, perfect fit, all the way around, okay, I also had to shave down a little bit on the inside of the fuselage, so it would sit properly, okay, now what I did is I installed the mechanicals for the, uh, vertical stabilizers okay I hot glued them in okay on both of them so where I'm putting them now they're gonna go 
right through this slot and come out through here okay unscrew this put it in screw it back on and then my servos are gonna go right here I think I'm gonna use also the 16 gram servos all high high servos so I don't want no 9 gram is slagging up on me if I'm up in the air or something so uh, I'm gonna install the uh, horizontal stabilizer okay put them in put the servos in and then I'll uh, take some more video so stay tuned okay um, I finished putting the EDF unit inside okay you can see it there I have all the wires running with my uh, speed control ESC there I uh, got the servos going okay to the elevators There she goes. Uh, all the wires come out over here. Now I'm working on the wings. Okay. I'm working on the wings. Okay. What I did is I also put a 16 gram servo here. I had to open up the hole a little bit. But uh, the response on the ailerons is unbelievable. So I could probably trim it down on my DX7, but it's what I'm looking for. A lot of throw. Uh, for nice quick rolls uh, I'm doing the next ring now I'm gonna cut out again over here okay put the next servo in and then I'm gonna connect the wings to the main fuselage and then I'm gonna put the bottom piece in with the landing gear alright uh, once I do that I'll throw up another video and uh, should finish it up within like another hour or so stay tuned okay I'm back on uh, vertical stabilizer okay you have to take this off because there's a rod that you have to put in. So you have to take this off, insert it inside here. There's a tube, okay, and it goes inside the rudder, okay. And then what you have to do is just CA glue the hinges, okay, and, uh, and that should work. So here's the rod, okay. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little tube there. Okay, sorry, a little dark, okay. There's a little tube over there. It goes inside and it comes out right over here. But, uh, okay, I already have her in place. Okay, I got the wings on the fuselage, epoxy and epoxy in. And uh, now I'm going to put the bottom piece. I'm going to put the vertical uh, stabilizer. And uh, I'm going to wire up and then turn her on. So stay tuned for more of the build. All right, here she is. She's all done. Uh, she's about 95% complete. I'm just waiting for my uh, Spectrum receiver to pick up. Uh, she's. I gotta put the decals on her. But uh, I'm gonna make the canopy that's gonna make. Uh, it's gonna come up uh, with a servo, a rotary servo. So I'm gonna make the canopy come up. That's why I didn't glue it. Uh, still gotta put the covers for the landing gear. But uh, there she is. She looks really nice. I gotta put the side winder still uh, and the drop tanks. But uh, I'm gonna put the drop tanks on with uh, rare earth magnets so I can take them out so that it doesn't cause any drag. Here's the intake. Gotta clean up those little wires over there. But uh, yeah, she looks nice. Gonna test her out. Later on today, I fire up the engine and uh, I'm running a 5 cell, 22 volt, um, 3000 milliamp lipo. Boy, if I tell you, she screams. There it is. So uh, that's, a, that's a 2100 kV motor, EDF, from uh, Exceed RC. From, uh, Nitroplanes.com. This is where I got the plane from Nitroplanes.com. It's a RC Lander F16 kit. So stay tuned. I'm going to put all the decals and then I'm going to give her a taxi test. Thanks for watching.